Dearest heart, if planning and destiny were sitting on each side of your scale, which one weight over? Are you comfortable with that? Some people believe that everything is destiny and nothing ever turns out the way that it should not. And if we think it does, it was for a reason or a purpose. Sometimes no matter how much we plan or wish for something, it does not come true or it comes true in a different way than we expected. So you are planning with your feelings, thinking about what you would like to happen and what you would like to achieve. But sometimes life has a different plan for you and your own plans might be swept away in an instant. So if you are reading this message right now, you need to take a closer look at the things that have happened in the past that. So you are unhappy with and see if you can find a reason or purpose behind it turning out the way it did. So by looking at the things with less regret and more understanding, you can connect with destiny and relieve some of the pressure of trying to plan your life perfectly. So dear souls know that. Stop blaming yourself for things that did not go the way you plan. Start by letting go of anything that no longer serves you and focus on you. Take a time out for yourself of your own needs as you take a moment to rest and renovate. So love yourself by letting go of all pattern thinking while focusing on important people and the things in your life and this is essential. So keep your distance from anyone trying to invade your personal space or pushing you to your limit. It is not hard to recognize this activity. Many times it can be someone very close to you. So instead you turn the attention on to yourself, being aware and staying in tune with your own emotional feelings. So eliminate anything that brings you stress, guilt or any type of anxiety with fear. Without realizing you may have been feeling sense of fear, doubt and uncertainty in your life. So this triggers the past emotional conflict you may have been holding on to causing you to lose touch with the true you. It is a time for internal healing with adding more self care to raise your vibration and spread your light to everyone around you. So you are on the right path, keep doing what you are doing because it is working. So always remember to keep the shield of armor with light and love. You have so much love to give and receive. You are a beautiful soul and will reach your goals when you look to God to guide you and keep your eyes focused on the light. Today be yourself and be the example by shining your light. So dear souls know that. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Take a small steps towards your goal, 
fine tune your approach and look at the detail of what it is you want right now so be deliberate with your thoughts and strive to create a change in how you are feeling so you have complete control over how you are choosing to experience this situation so the hardest part of a new project is taking the first step self doubt or your inner critic may hinder your progress so if you are considering a large project you may be feeling overwhelmed you may have too many ideas so try to simplify what you want to achieve so every individual has come sort of challenges but the result in always worthwhile work towards doing something in support of your objective so 5 or 10 minutes of focused attention and effort will eventually bring about the results and you are looking for so dear souls know that someone who deleted your photos and presents and your memories in the past now praying to get you back There are two scenario in coming out from this reading. You are waiting in a situation where you are looking for some results. So it can be you struck salary or struck payment also from somewhere which is not getting clear even after trying and waiting. If you are in any favorite situation then you should wait because you will get what you want whether it is your payment or it is a work you want to get you will get it but it will take time more than what you have told for and more than what you are expecting So in the second scenario this is about a love relationship where you have give your 100% in for some of you have give more than what you have and what you can do for anyone in love This reading will resonate with you more if you are reply in love with this person right now also So even after hurting you so many times and letting you down there is something about them which you can't dresses in your heart is still beats for them So it is possible that you are waiting for them to come out of third party situation or at least give you some clarity about what they want with you for many of you you have already know that this person will come back to you and it does not matter how long it has been since you did not talk or you did not see this person what you can feel they are energy near you they are stalking you seeing you in their dreams thinking about you are 24/7 is regardless of their current situation and their current relationship status So this person loves you a lot and they really want to live with you and offer you a love relationship and you should not give up on this connection. Because you have already done and now your work here and it's time to get you reward. So there is nothing left that anyone can do for someone else. which you never did for them your love and your unconditional support is making them weak on their knees for you so dear souls know that you must have all heard or read about 
पंडोराज बॉक्स मिट एंड मीनिंग आफ्टर पंडोराज लॉस्ट ऑल द कंटेंट ऑफ हर बॉक्स विच अनलीज ऑल द ग्रेट एवल्स अपॉन द वर्ल्ड शी क्यूकली क्लोज द बॉक्स ऑन द लास्ट प्रीशियस गिफ्ट एंड शी श्योर दैट दे वुड कीप एंड गार्ड फॉर एवर होप The last gift for all human kind we all from time to time face disappointment and unforeseen circumstances that can cause chaos and sadness You might be struggling with a relationship dealing with unfair situation or mourning the loss of a beloved friend or a family member The myth of Pandora box is telling us here that despite the gruesome truths we face in life hope is always and the beautiful source of our resilience to move forward and grow as a person You are being called right now to find your hope again in life the universe your spirit guides are watching over you and assisting you from an above position focus on creating a positive reality in your life and let your angel of hope embarrass you with love and point you toward your own shining path dear souls know that How much energy do you waste wanting someone to change wishing they were different and hoping they get it So your partner adult children boss parents if only but it is not them it is you and you are driving yourself made focusing on them Don't allow your happiness to be dependent on what anyone else does spend your energy on your connection with god so when you are secure in yourself and trusting of god you can let others be who they want to be so you are free from the drama of others and you are free Don't dwell catch yourself remind yourself don't dwell bad stuff happens people are rude selfish injustice everywhere You had a childhood with flawed parents relationship issues illness and ailments bills traffic courts finances and work Your mind runs across so many negatives don't dwell let your thoughts flow the way to stay present and surrender is to not dwell Let things flow into the past as they should clear your mind let God guide your thinking moment by moment move forward by not dwelling So dear souls know that where love is the driving forces everything falls into place every time you are able to see love in the smallest of things Every time you are one step closer to what you have asked for there is a sense of acceleration towards what is mean to be done This I am not seeing for you but for someone else who is inspired your way of doing things has always been flow and flowing Keep doing you you probably disgraced from that path for a bit but now you are coming back in alignment again There are going to be chances of you slipping back to the same version of wanting to control things and happens.
so you are human just remember how beautifully this universe orchestrated things for you when you choose to surrender that need has come again to surrender surrender to the timing of things love is the driving forces for you in the situation that you are in one more thing you should know is that by acting as a source of courage for a situation or for people in general you are clearing a lot of karma and which is why you have been divinely placed in this situation trust at this stage where the universe is taking you and keep flowing flow is the true essence of femininity The universe is shifting things for your highest good this path will reward you so dear souls know that in western culture we wish upon a star because the stars represent all that is illuminating and enchanting so they symbolize aspiration illumination inspiration imagination and wonder native people use the stars to find their way in the night the north star was often used as a kind of compass to make sure one was going in the right direction the north star symbolizes direction and guidance it is a guiding light for those who can't find their way it is a one of the brightest stars in its constellation so just as the north star is a beacon for travelers in the dark of the night you are a beacon for others it's time to step into the light and take your leadership role You are a teacher, reward guardian and healer, a true leader. Own these gifts, come into the light, so don't hold back. Let the world see your light. The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve and act as stepping stones for others to reach their dreams. If you have been hiding in the background it's time to break out and become the light for others through this your stars shine brighter So dear souls know that this person is in your life is not only for a temporary or only to teach you a lesson they are here to guide you to become a better version of yourself some of them might will trigger your old wounds in order for both of you to grow and release the unhealed wounds most of you are wondering their intention towards you with 10 of pentacles it is clear they wish to grow old together with you build a strong foundation in this connection so as well as expand the family members marriage is the end goal of this person intention they feel like they want to step up provide treat and give you the world for some they might hold regret from the past but they are willingly to make it up both of you are very content committed and excited for the future journey I do see this connection can go distance and achieve milestones of successful together. Both of you are quite traditional when it comes to a relationship. So family approval might be something very very important to you if you have been wondering about this. 
This is your sign that you have nothing to worry about. As the spirit says, you will get those family approval for this relationship. So dear souls, know that. Love a soft person, the kind of person who kisses your soul instead of your heart because they know that your soul is where you keep your universe and your heart is just one star. The sort of person who is told they are oversensitive because they have a more fragile heart. Love a soft person, a human being who always has a kind smile for everyone even when they do not get a smile back in return. Someone whose heart breaks over the condition of this world. Someone who always has a gentle word for those who have received the raw few days could in that moment love a soft person, the one who are positive even in the raw of circumstances, someone whose strength is not in brave low but in their quiet, someone who is strong for others because that is what is needed in that moment, someone who is in the moon that suits instead of the sun that burns. Someone who sees the very best in people even when you think they are not worth it. The kind of person who always wants to do the best for those they love. Love a soft person, the kind who looks at someone who is struggling whether it is to open a door or have a lost their keys and will do everything they can to help out. Someone who tries not because it is what they have to do but because they want to do the best by you. A human being that is always willing to communicate and talk things through. So protect a soft person. This kind of people are becoming in danger with words like toughen up and you are so naive and they are going to take advantage of you. So someone who you can see is trying despite being broken themselves, someone who is an easy target for ridicule because their heart is softer than most other around. Someone who is quick to apologize and fix things regardless of blame or fault. Be a soft person, be a cushion in a world full of rocks and fat places. Be a gentle soul where everyone else is jaded. Be that person because people like that are rarer and more precious than the rarest of jewels in this world. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your son. Jesus Christ, I thank you that he died and rose just for me. Father, I repent of my sin and I turn to you, Lord. I surrender every expect of my heart over to you. Father, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, if you have prayed this prayer, tell everybody else as soon as possible. Don't wait more than 24 hours, part of coming to faith in God, sharing your experience with others. Asking God to save you is a part of a journey of faith. There is much to learn. 
Jesus wants you to be his disciple which means to follow him and learn him from find out more about the life and teaching of Christ so dear souls know that some of you are asking for love reading so i feel like today the spirit will deliver the messages for you So you are experience some sort of breakthrough recently and this breakthrough will take you into the next level any issue or wounds that caused the blockage in a connection will be raised and come to the surface for both of you to address and release them So there is a consequences from the past action but the changes are here to take this connection into another level there will be a renewal from a connection with some sort of adjustment in this situation to clear the blockage so both of you can move forward without any blockage marriage card is here and it is clear both of you are deeply in love for each other so don't let the past affecting this for present and future relationship so the respect passion and love are pure and unconditionally both of you are wanting the long term relationship with marriage at the end so if you are going through a rough patch you are guided to gather around your thoughts and mind to be able communicate it clear also be aware that this is only temporary and it will pass slowly so this rough patch is actually a test from the highest before both of you are going into another step of serious level this could be a mean moving in together marriage engagement expanding a family and many more good things are waiting for you someone is held back by insecurities and fear perhaps you are wondering why this person has not approached you or has changed recently or maybe you are the one who feels unable to do things you want to so i see one person is ready and the other is still working through some things they may appear moody or distant but it is nothing to do with you so this person is going through sometimes and just needs to spend some time suspends working on their mindset and experiencing a mini spiritual awakening very soon this person perspective will change and they will be able to see things which they are unable to currently a new beginning is likely around the next full moon it is not going to be long before this situation has movement again so my child know that man breathe in and father hear my defense which i make you unto you and when they hear that he speak in the hebrew tongue to them they keep the more silence and he faith so i am verify a man which am a jew born in tarsus a city in clicia yet brought up in this city at the feet of gamelia and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the father and was jealous towards god yes all are this day 
and I persuaded this way unto the dead, binding and delivering into prisons both man and woman. As also the high priest both bear me witness and all the estate of the elders from whom also I received letters unto the brethren and want to Damascus to bring them which were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. Numbers and the children of Machir the son of Mansiha went to Gilead and took it and disposed the Amorite which was in it. And Moses gave Gilead unto Machir the son of Mansiha, and he dwelt therein. And Jair the son of Mansiha went and took the small towns thereof. And called them Haboth Jair and Nobla went and took Kena and the village thereof and called it Noba after his own name. Dear Angels, Today I wake up knowing it was a blessed day. My dreams were filled with magic. I could literally see my dream life manifested and I know the wheels are spinning in my favor. I feel the fortunate energy of good news all around me. I answer the door as this magnificent opportunity is knock. I check my bank balance and there is massive blessings from the universe with no strings attached for me. I took outside and see my new car had been delivered right into my driveway. I look down and see that my body is exactly how I wish it to be, including the clothes I am wearing, I am fresh and well dressed, I am impressed with myself. I can feel the energy of love, health and happiness all around me. I feel amazing. I stop and realize I was never actually dreaming this is my life. This is me and my reality. I did it and I am so proud of myself. Thank you angels. Thank you universe. So it is. Type yes if you have faith and trust in God.